Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Mars transiting the seventh house in a natal chart. Now, on average, if, Mar if Mars is only direct during this transit, then Mars will transit the house for approximately two months for an average size house, say if your house size is 30 degrees. However, if your house size is bigger and or Mars is in retrograde motion for any time during the transit, it will be in that house for a longer period. Well, anyway, people, well, the first thing I see is that uh, when you have uh, Mars transiting the seventh house, this can make you a lot more aggressive and assertive, more forceful, perhaps in matters connection, uh, in connection with relationships. It might make relationships and partnership situations a little bit more contentious than usual. What's interesting about this, uh, this transit, it's a little bit paradoxical. You can, on one hand, you may um, use a lot of aggressive energy toward reconciliation, negotiation, and compromise. You might be really in a hurry to try to mend fences with some people if you're at odds with some people. Now, and on the other side, it could make situations between you and others more combative, more acrimonious, and more contentious than, than, than they are right now. And so I think a lot of it depends on whether Mars, when it's transiting, whether it's in a more passive sign such as Pisces or Cancer, uh, if it's more in a, in a more passive sign like that, I would say it would be more, you're, you might be more in a hurry to try to mend fences, but if you're, but if it's in a more aggressive sign such as like Aries or Leo, it might indicate that the, the, the situations might be more contentious than usual as far as relationships and partnership situations go. If this is a, this could be a period where uh, open enemies, open adversaries might be a little bit more combative and quarrelsome than they generally are if you're in a, say, you're in some kind of legal battle or situation with someone then these situations can be a little bit more more combative than usual. It could mean that you you might be in a hurry to make a resolution to a sit legal situation, perhaps if you're involved one, or it could also mean that there might be more bickering uh, back and forth between you and in the per in the person that you're in the in the court case against, perhaps. So it could be more disputatious than usual. Now. It's also important to remember that Mars is connected with sex and looking at this, it could indicate that maybe you might become maybe sexually attracted to somebody, maybe in like a, like a seventh house type field, such as a legal field, such as an attorney, a paralegal, a judge, a bailiff, it could be somebody uh, perhaps uh, that, that works in, in relationships such as a marriage counselor. It could be is it somebody like an arbitrator, perhaps, or a mediator. And really, when you, when you look at this, you have Mars traversing uh, the seventh house. It could indicate a lot of energy that you could be expending uh, for others. Because you look at the first house, okay, the first house is a little bit more egocentric. It's about me, myself, and I. But when you look at the, the seventh house is more about people appeasing and doing things for others. So you might be using a lot of this Mars aggressive energy in order to help others. And it's important during this transit to not uh, be dominated so, so much by other people that you forget your own self. I mean, it's not, there's nothing wrong with doing things for other people, but it's also, you don't want to become oblivious to your own needs as well. And it could be a time where you put forth a lot of energy into collaborating with others. It might on projects, perhaps, and it, it really it could be more of a time where you just feel like you feel like putting forth more energy with other people as opposed to doing things, say, more in a, in a solo fashion or or, or by yourself or, or doing things independently. You might be more apt to request uh, the help of another person, even in even if in, if you're very, say, if you're a person that's generally very independent and self-reliant, it, it could indicate a time where maybe you might feel a little bit more dependent and, and maybe 
you have more of that courage to ask somebody for help as opposed to trying to do something yourself, such as it, such as if it's a task that requires a lot, of, that's time consuming and painstaking, you might be more inclined to ask someone else for assistance and, and curtail the, the pride, so to speak, in, in, as far as the, this time during this transit. Well, anyway, people, it's also important to look at the sign that Mars is in during this transit as this could flavor the transit. Now, let's say that transiting Mars in the seventh house is in Aries for either the majority or the whole time of the transit to your seventh house. Well, this could indicate uh, a little more, uh, a lot of aggressive and maybe even combative uh, energy, perhaps. And this could, uh, in, in be, being very direct and straightforward and forthright as well, and it may come out perhaps in legal situations, legal battles, and might come out more in relationships. It might be at a point where if you if you don't have a current significant other, you might this could really reinforce maybe that that urge to be to be aggressive in terms of pursuing one and try to embark on a new relationship. Now this could also, let's take another example. Let's say that transiting Mars is in Taurus for either the majority or the whole time of the transit to the seventh house. Well, this could indicate energy that could be sustained, enduring, and very persistent. And being in the seventh, this could be applied to relationships and negotiations even, perhaps. Now, it's also important to look at the aspects that are made by this transit to your natal planets and points as this could impact the transit. Now let's say for example that transiting Mars is making a square in conjunct or opposition to your natal Saturn. Well, this could be a time where you're more cognizant of your limitations, your restrictions, which might cause exasperation and anger. Now being in the seventh, this might be tied in perhaps to situations connected with your relationships, partnership situations, and maybe even legal matters in some cases. Let's take another example. Let's say that transiting Mars in your seventh house is making a sextile or trying to your natal Uranus. Now this could be auspicious for matters connected with taking initiative and originality and ingenuity. And being in the seventh, this could be perhaps come out maybe in a partnership or relationship type scenario. Well, anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Mars transiting the seventh house in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Mars transiting the eighth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.